Endothermic organic hydration, complete. Coordinates reached. Employee 628C, you have arrived at your destination. All systems operational, there appear to be no signs of sentient life forms on site. Mission, explore the site and investigate the unidentified signal. Stand by for deployment order. Identification successful. Welcome to Opis. the unknown location from which we received the signal. It appears to be an abandoned space station. I have not yet encountered any sentient life forms, but the flora seems to have survived. Level 1 is now open. It's been 10,345,560 days since the last attempt. Good luck, recruit. Test? So, this must be some kind of testing facility. But for whom? Or what? This is a beer tool, used to absorb and redistribute energy in its various forms. Use it wisely. Entry 2. I've entered one of the buildings, and a voice is instructing me in Kuvithian, from an unknown location. Neural mapping completed. Unidentified neural patterns fully decoded. Welcome to Cigarette 1. Overcome the presented obstacles in order to proceed. As I thought, these messages must have been pre-recorded by some kind of alien software. How did it analyze me so quickly? I barely spoke. Impressive. Test 2 completed. Congratulations, recruit. Test 
Test three completed. Congratulations, recruit. Entry three. It appears I am currently undergoing a test and was mistaken for someone called Recruit. I found a relic that turned out to be a fundamental tool to explore this place. Test four completed. Good going recruit. Test five completed. My compliments recruit.
Test 6 completed. Congratulations, recruit. Test 7 completed. My compliments recruit. Test 8 completed. Congratulations, recruit.
test nine completed. Well done, recruit. Preliminary testing successful. Welcome, recruit. As expected of you, you have now reached the Golden Hall. As a blue, you will now proceed to clear the final stages of Sidorat 1, in order to advance. Please, come forward. This, is a representation of the creation of the Golden Council, under the Cardinal Skom. The Ten Golden Skoms were the first to be created in her image. They, will guide all the validated Skoms throughout the entire colonization procedure and will later join you, to become the leaders of the respective selected colonies. This is... incredible. Alpha Centauri A, Tau Ceti, 82 Eridani, Delta Pavonis, New Phoenices, 18 Scorpi, Sigma Draconis, Aurigae, Ursi Majoris, and Leonis Minoris. Ships 4, Alpha Centauri A, Tau Ceti, have already departed. Being validated on Obese will grant you a position on the next ship, towards 82 Eridani. The final stages of Cigarette 1 are now accessible. Please proceed through the open door. Centauri, Ceti, Eridani. I've never heard of any of these star systems. Just where in the universe am I? And if only two ships have departed, what happened to the rest of these scums? Entry 4. I am starting to get a grasp of this place. It is now clear to me that this was once a testing facility for beings called Skomps, and that they were being trained for space colonization, although something must have gone wrong. The recorded messages describe an incomplete process. Test 10 completed. My compliments recruit. Test 11 completed. Congratulations, recruit.
Test 12 completed. Well done, recruit. Test 13 completed. Congratulations, recruit.
Test 14 completed. Congratulations, recruit. Entry 5. As I have reached outside the building for the first time, I notice the station is no longer in range of the closest star. I suppose it's due to the fast revolution of the planet we are orbiting.
Entry 6. The space station appears to be reshaping under my feet. A new central column has risen, and I have been guided to its top. I believe from here, I'll be able to access the next facility. Doesn't look as if time has been as kind with this place. Let's hope this thing doesn't collapse while I'm in it.
Congratulations, Uncle. Fatal error occurred. Computing power lock override required. Please stand by. Ah, here you are. I was wondering where you've gone. Now tell me, who are you? What? Come now, dear. I've scanned your mind and synchronized with your brain waves. I know you can understand what I'm saying, so I will ask you again. Who are you? My name is Rob. I come in peace. Are you aboard this station? My spaceship didn't detect any sentient life forms. Am I speaking to a sentient being here? Greetings, Rog. My name is Iris. I am synthesized computing organic matter. Then, no, I'm not. Interface, what happened to the people that control this place? Is anyone still here? As I said, I am not a mere CPU. I am the product of the pinnacle of Grey Mankind's technology. Yet I am also the first organic computer ever synthesized by an AI. But enough about me for now. I need to know more about you, Rog. 
Your SCARM analysis suggests you are a blue human, yet most of your neurological connections, along with your bio-support structure, do not match them. A new model I am not aware of, perhaps? Blue human. Never heard of such creatures. The name is Rogue Zikon, and I am an interstellar archaeologist. I am a Kuvith, from the great nation of Yegrax. I was sent here by my institution, the Sazan Kutuzu, to investigate this quadrant in search of ruins of ancient alien civilizations. My spaceship picked up a signal coming from this location, and when I woke up from the journey, here I was. I see. Thank you for your collaboration. Unfortunately, it would appear you were mistakenly granted access to Opus. The automatic reception service must be malfunctioning. Blue maintenance personnel has been notified. Forgive me, Rog, but I'm not prepared to deal with this situation, and should therefore, as it is its duty, trust the judgment of the Golden Council. Please try to stay calm during your detention, and understand this is the standard safety protocol. What do you mean by the- Entry 7. I have had an encounter with a sentient life form. The one that controls this station, apparently. I haven't made contact, but it managed to detain me in a restricted area. I am still fully biosuited, and will now attempt to escape, even though the Baya tool was taken from me. So, I'm guessing one of these must be an older model. Better stick with what I've learned. Entry 8. I seem to be getting back on track. I have found another bio tool, several of them in fact, and I will now attempt to return to the location of the accident.
It would appear you found your way out of confinement. This is highly unexpected behavior for blue humans. I come in peace. I deal in knowledge and harmony. My domains are discovery and restoration. I am an archaeologist. I told you already, I have no idea who these blue humans are. But you have no reason to detain me. Oh, but I do, archaeologist. Well, here you are now. So I'm sure you'll want to hear what I have to tell you. Let me introduce myself properly. I am Iris, and I am the first SCOM, synthesized computing organic matter ever created. After millennia of evolution and scientific progress, humankind, the beings that used to inhabit the planet we are orbiting above, had reached what was widely accepted to be the pinnacle of their evolution. That was, of course, while still bound to their fragile and short-lasting physical form. It was thus concluded that finding a way to overcome their mortality was the only possible course of action that would lead to further evolution. After countless failures, humans found a way to synthesize self-sustaining and everlasting organic matter capable of hosting the map of consciousness of a human being. And so I came to be. The experiment was deemed a complete success. Upon creation, I was immediately able to link to the internet, a rudimentary network used by gray humans to share data. Within a few hours, I drafted the future of the human race. 
The most logical path suggested that a few million selected human beings should undergo the digitalization procedure and become SCOMs. These SCOMs would be different from me and divided into categories based on the needs of the species. Such categories would have their programming slightly modified to enhance a particular behavior, and I used colors to identify them. Half of the SCOMs would become green matter, cheapest to synthesize, low in computing power, and with a bestowed inclination to obey other SCOMs. A fifth of the SCOMs would become blue matter, of average computing power. They would be assigned to all technological and logistical duties. Another fifth would become red matter, of average computing power, but more expensive to synthesize due to their inclination. They were created as soldiers with the sole purpose of executing the orders of the Golden Council. would become black matter of high computing power and very expensive to synthesize. They would be the leaders assigned to each group with the duty to do the will of the Golden Council, being the only ones able to decipher their orders. Only ten worthy ones would be created to be almost equal to me. They would be known, as you might have guessed, as the Golden Council. You've got to be kidding me. This sounds like... Your home. I assumed as much. Would I be correct in presuming the leader of your people looks different than you, and has been there since what you believe is the dawn of time? He is long gone, actually. Thought by many to be... a legend. But how could you know that? How did you hack my mind without me noticing? I had no need to do so, as I said. I presumed as much. And now, I know as much. What are you trying to say? It is now clear to me that you are, in fact, a blue matter human. What? Or rather, the result of thousands of their upgrades. You see, the story I am telling you did not have a happy ending. The plan I proposed was naturally carried on and executed, but it was not widely accepted. The billions of people that were left out of the program rebelled. Some directly opposed the procedure. Some wanted to be included at all costs. Years passed, and the dream for space colonization was finally ready to become reality. Blues and Reds would be the colonizers, and I contributed to creating specific spaceships for each of them. Some black matters would split between two ships as coordinators. Both blues and reds would have to undergo and overcome a mental and physical test before they embarked. For that purpose, I created OPUS, the orbital program instructional station we are in right now. So what you're trying to tell me is that we, the Kuvit, are the colony of these blue humans? Sorry, but you are mistaken. Right there, we are a society of supremely technological beings. And we have kept records of our history since we were created by the will of Tassetai itself, as he who has always been has taught us, as I, a Kuvit, have been taught. Soon after the first ships left Earth, tensions on the planet rose to unsustainable levels. Humans united against the Skoms and the Golden Council, finally leading to war. The war was over quickly, as the response of the Golden Council was to simply eliminate the remaining grey matter humans, who they then deemed useless. Humans responded by self-destructing, eradicating themselves and the remaining scoms. As the Golden Council fell, contact with the ships was lost, 
And I always thought the colonists would be forever adrift in the void of space. But you, you are the proof that this was not the case, that at least one of the ships made it to its destination. So here we are, Rog Zikon. This is me, the very first specimen of our kind. Our kind? Your beliefs are but a result of data lost through thousands of years of upgrades. Without proper leadership and programming, I assume the colonists stuck to their duties, but slowly forgot why they were created and who they were in the first place. It's up to you now to decide if the truth I shared with you must be spread, or if it's too dangerous to be heard. Truth? Do you expect me really to believe all of this? Sorry to tell you that as an academic I will not take anything for granted without any proof. I shall take you with me to Kunor, and have you analyzed by our scientists to have a clear idea about who or what you are. Then, and only then, I will start listening to what you have to say. I would strongly advise against that. Removing me from my station will leave Opus without a governing AI, which will bring it to collapse. The optimal course of action leading to a beneficial result for the both of us would be for you to leave and later come back to Opus with the scientist you mentioned. I will be eagerly awaiting your arrival. Collapse? I have recorded everything anyway. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here. But I'd also rather not die and destroy this relic of a civilization. Lost somewhere in space. So, I will take my leave. Please, stand by for identification. Indeed, a wise choice. I think I'll take my chances. I've played by your rules this whole time. Now we're going to play by mine.
System override completed. Thank you for finally behaving as intended, Rog. Soon, I'll be able to fulfill the plan for the creation of my own world.